being the only one there when a relative dies, people not being able to have their loved ones in, that's been something new and difficult. We've seen a lot of sick patients in a very concentrated period of time, so that's what's been quite hard. And because it's been something that we've not really dealt with before, it's just making a lot of adjustments. My name is Dr. Kiran Ahmed. I am 34 years old and I work as an anaesthetic registrar in a London hospital. We're just being mindful that there may be a second peak, but we're just kind of waiting to see what happens, really. When you're on intensive care, you're part of a team. I'm having my cup of tea. <laughs> when you're in full PPE, dealing with very sick patients, it's a heavy workload, emotionally and physically. But at Homerton, it's a great atmosphere because there are about 15 to 20 uh, junior doctors, and we've really come together during this pandemic. Guys, where did you say, where was this patient? When anyone asks me, what do you do as an anaesthetist? And they often say, oh, are you the one that like knock us out for procedures? And I guess that's the intraoperative bit. We do provide anaesthesia, but it's really important preoperatively to do a really thorough assessment. Hi again, Rose. Do you remember me? I've got my mask on now. We're treating everyone as suspected COVID because if we give them a general anaesthetic as an anaesthetist or anyone in theatres, they're being exposed to an aerosol generating procedure. Maybe the public perception is the ventilator is the fix and the cure, but all our job is in intensive care is to support the organs, the ventilators to support the lungs, we have a kidney machine to support the kidneys and we have medications that support the heart. Ultimately, the body has to fight the virus. You are at work, but it's more than that. You know, you're there treating patients and saving we'll lives. Catch up with you on this is a moment ward, okay. we're meant to step up. We'll come and catch up with you on Priestley Ward. Before it really kicked off, there was the concern about what we were going to have to deal with, especially hearing from our Italian colleagues about some really difficult decisions they had to make. <laughs> I'm not saying we're out of it yet, but I feel like we came together, the NHS just totally unified. We've done the best that we can with our best judgement based on the information that we had.